drinks. Sure. So, how's it going, Jane Austen? A whole new story. It's about two young people from different worlds falling in love. Well, it sounds like material, but are we in it? It's your dream girl, Buffy. Saint Marie? <laughs> Uh, Ollie, dude. What, Jane? I have Jane? Oh. to tell you. Ollie, I just came from the most amazing lecture on Aboriginal history. Want some help? Sorry, this is your study block right now, isn't it? Busy. Ollie, dude, it's your friend James, your Thank best you. friend James. Ollie. Ollie. Dude. Incredible. Stupendous. What? You are totally going out with the native bird, aren't you? Um, what? A bird? I mean, think of it. Vision Quest, she can talk to bears. She knows which way north is at all times. Well, it's that way, because that's the north end of the... See? <laughs> Not really. The fortitude of the mother bear, the sight of the eagle, the raven with its really black feathers. Oh, feathers. no. Ollie, she can fly. This bronze goddess is going to shoot up the sun. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Walk it off. I've got to go. What? So who was that other girl? That's Mandy, Emma's sister. She'll be appearing in three, two... Hi, elders. Hey. hey. Seriously? A First Nations archery demonstration in the quad? People were into it. Plus, Uncle Punch taught me how to shoot. Wasn't he blind? Just legally. Anyways, I was trying to do this. Check this. Mandy's off for us superstar life skills training. How, how, how? Officially unofficial sparring medicine woman, laureate, poet, and artist in residence, Mandy speaking. That's right. Movie night is tonight. And my Adam Beach selection is... Wind talkers. Again? That's right. Show starts promptly at 7, bring your own popcorn, followed by flags of her father's with commentary. Emma likes that one a lot. Right? Right? I think I gotta go. Bye, auntie. I don't think I'm gonna go see the movie tonight. I think I'm gonna go to the library. The library? I like it there. Okay. Who is he? Do you want to see my owl impression? Hoo, hoo, hoo. Hoo, 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 hoo. What? Tell me or I'm gonna lick your face. Ew, do you even realize you're at work right now? I don't care. I've licked everyone's face at work. God, your mouth is full of bacteria. That doesn't answer my question. I met him at school. And that tells me nothing. <sighs> Fine. His name is Ollie, but Ollie? honestly... Our cousin has a pup <sighs> name, Ollie. Is he cute? I shouldn't have told you anything. I can't wait to meet him! <laughs> Did I ever tell you why I left England? Your parents emigrated? Well, yes. But I do find myself empathizing more and more with Chris Martin from Coplay. When Chris and Gwyneth Paltrow broke up, not even Adele could keep me from leaving. But now I am here, here to make your romance truly effervescent. Make my who? Your romance, your budding, beautiful affair of the heart. Wait, do, do you mean the pretty girl who, who, who... Ollie, I have made it my personal mission to find you your lost lady love. Right. Wait, what have you done? Oh, nothing too drastic. Internet message boards, talk to people, put up posters. Posters? Oh, yes, you've got to see these. The library girl? Look, I, I appreciate you trying you know, so very hard to help me, but chances are 
I won't even see her again. Only one way to find out, Ollie, me old sport. Okay. Okay, just just no IMAX teaser campaigns. Oh, oh, library again. Yeah, true love. I don't. Tell your friends. So, let's just find a good spot and study. Yes, we'll have to take a look around. A great cosmic crump! It's only there's one now! Yeah, James, this isn't the Brazilian rainforest. That's a person. A copper siren breathed into life by the fires of heaven. This won't be embarrassing. Hi. Are you in the middle of something very special? Is it a vision quest? How'd you know? Spiritual lightning rod at your service. I knew it! James, the inside voice. The question is, have you seen Library Girl in your many travels? Ollie, doesn't she look a little like Library Girl? Well, she's in a library. Ollie? The Ollie? I don't even look like a pug. Sorry, what? Emma! My sister. Isn't she adorable? They're sisters. You're it, sister. I say. So, um, hi, Emma. Hi, Ollie. Oh, no. Double date. Ooh, yes. No. Help. Dates are fun. You go out to the county fair and win a girl a teddy bear. What do you think? Do you like dates? I like cotton candy. You're funny. I got new shoes. I think they're a little too young for dating. You don't go out on dates? Play dates. Date squares. Double date squares. <laughs> Double date. Think of it. Romance. Into the wild on a birch bark highway. Into the what? What have we done? So where do you guys like want to go? I'm like, oh my gosh, so many ideas right now. Me too. I'm seeing rock climbing. Tea party. Competitive macrame. Puppet making. Kite flying. Kite decorating. Guys. Can you pick fashion show? Actually, I was just hoping to hang out with Ollie. Maybe go to the park or something. The park, huh? The, the petting zoo. zoo. Perfect. Would this be categorized as either shenanigans or hijinks? I'd say tomfoolery. It's time for... Montage! Yeah, off and on. We all watched The Big Lebowski earlier. We all got the craving. Huh. So, how's the big double date going? Well, it was fun. Busy, but fun. Yeah, <laughs> good times. It was absolutely fabulous. All hail guinea pig fashion show winner, Miss Patricia Whoops Twittle Thistle. Oh. oh, you're just beautiful, aren't you? You coy little <laughs> diva, yes. Hey, First Nations elders, I thought so. I can't believe my luck. Here, take Patricia. Now look out, she's she's a biter. Elders. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Hmm. This day just keeps on getting better and better. I believe in common parlance. This is what's described as epic. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Xavier and I were just thinking, why not come to the Friendship Center? Oh, we've got satellite direct TV and pay-per-view wrestling. Uh. 
Uh. What do you think of roller derby? What name do you think I should go with? I was thinking, Sugar Hunters! <laughs> I am so sorry, but I simply have to ask you, what is the anthropological story behind the braiding of hair? Or just the might and glory of being native elders? Totems? Spirits? It must be so fantastically sublime! Yeah, it's cool. Actually, we can give you the knowledge of medicine passed through the ages. Twenty bucks. Nope, too eager. That's right. We never make a profit off our own culture. Anyways, you guys don't mind if we have some extra company, do you? Company? And that's that. Ollie, this is my friend Ollie. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, come on, guys. Let me show you something cool. Yeah, you want to see something cool? It's gonna be so cool. Now this is a puppet of my favorite Soto superstar, but I made a big one as well. Ooh. Is that your husband? Not legally, but well said. This is Adam, and Adam and I go back a long ways. Were you stalking him? That's what the court said. It was more like a friendly follow. <laughs> An eager friendly follow. Sir. Where are the cables? Mandy, do you know what happened with, with all the cables? Wow, I'm Mandy Sawyer. Are you all Adam Beach? That's right, Mandy. I'm Smoke Signal Adam, but you can call me Victor. I'm Casual Adam, and I'm Law and Order Adam. We like you. Case closed. Hey, Victor. Dinner is served. Yay! Oh, God save the queen! White man down. Hey, what are you working on there? The ongoing saga? True love between cultures showing that we're all one? No. I'm updating my lookbook status. Feeling sassy. I want to try something different. Oh, cool. I got buffalo wings for the potluck tonight. I had to make sure they were good. Are they good? I'm flying high on the wings of the buffalo. I'm so sorry that Mandy accidentally shot the assistant chief in the butt with a plastic arrow. She was practicing for native Valentine's Day. Be my native Valentine. Boo, 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 boo. The news is we've been asked to help with the crafts committee. They said if you behave, you can continue to sit behind the desk. Oh, they're thinking about us. See, I told you it was all about the connection. Yeah, that's not really why they said that. Anyways, how are things with you and Ollie? How's the big dreamy noodle? Recovering from the double dates. <sighs> what is that? Oh, this? Just my news creation. Coffee with a giant chocolate stir stick. Mmm, frightening. <laughs> Not even. Now, at least your door's still an item. We are? The last time I saw him, you attacked him with a giant size Adam Beach sculpture. <sighs> and what do you mean, we're still an item? Oh, the thing with James is totally burnt up. Like a raisin that caught fire in a microwave. Seriously? You met yesterday. Ollie and I haven't even had a chance to go on a date yet, and you two have already broken up. I belong to Adam anyways. And we're back to the beach. Oh, the beach. I am a beach bunny. A beachcomber. Iceland says he was on that hashtag Adam Beach is my man. Well, as long as things are okay between you and James. Oh, yeah. No, he's totally cool with everything. Mm -hmm. Lost. I am lost. 
cast asunder, cast to the four prevalent winds. Sorry, James. Mandy said I'm going to run. Run with the white buffalo. You know, you, you can't actually smoke that in here. Oh, I don't have any tobacco or sport, but it does make me look very thoughtful. A broken-hearted traveler. Yup. Set adrift in the stars. Oh, to be the one to... Oh, sweep her off her little moccasins. Come on, James, that stereotypical native girl stuff is just so... Oh, fair enough. It's Mandy. But things will get better. All right, like, all through high school, I went out with this girl named Clarissa. And, I mean, she was... Beautiful. But seriously, it was like being this little Pomeranian lapdog. Like, I've never worked so hard for so little attention. My goodness. Yeah. It was like I was under her spell or something. I mean, just the sound of her voice. It was sweet. Dulcet. Nightmare. Eventually, I got stronger and, you know, got over it. You will, too. <laughs> And now, I really hope I'll see Emma again. Oh, yes, how's your head? Are you concussed? What do you remember? Peaceful but eerie beckoning light? Oh, it was more like... slow-moving CBC drama, and then late-night APTN reruns, and... and... nothing. Oh. Hey, it's, it's, it's from Emma. Okay, cool. Cool, yeah. I gotta go to the supermarket in a bit. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. For what? Yeah, it's just to pick up some stuff for this potluck get-together thing at the Friendship Center that's no big deal, really. A like potlatch? Like Sundance? Robert Redford? No, it's just food. Potluck. Is that where the people commune, filling their bellies with sustenance while they awaken their deepest rooted it's ancestral just food. Oh, Ollie, my dear boy, it is so much more than that. You absolutely have to invite me. Put in a good word. Tell the people. Tell them all. Are you sure that Redford... No, won't Robert Redford be... will not be there. I mean, probably not. Look, I can't actually invite you myself, James. But if you hold me at gunpoint... Yeah. I'm sure Emma won't mind. I don't want to be bothered. Yeah, he can come. James is totally freaking out. Ugh. Sorry. You can tell him that there's no list. Right. And that sitting bull probably won't make it. Or Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, Leo. Yeah, you too. Bye. Okay, now what's that one? Bubblegum pop with licorice. I am a beverage warrior. Not even. Hey, you got lots of fabric there. Yep, we're a regular high fashion longhouse. Mm -hmm. You know, we're thinking about changing our fashion statement for the big event. <sighs> yeah, something summer-like with a hint of romance. Or bromance. We are secure in our masculinity. Thanks, son. Welcome, babe. Actually, can you guys do a grocery store run? We're seeing bannock tacos, bison burgers, and buffalo wings. If it starts with a B, grab it. Wait, did you finish all the wings? Man, like, we bought two cases. No problem. Do you want anything, Mandy? Blue ales and root beer. Not even. Not what? even? Yeah. No. That's a lot of marmite, James. Love it or hate it, it fed us Johnnies through the Battle of Britain, you know? I don't think there's gonna be much trench warfare in a friendship center. Well, yes. But we all clutched it to our bosoms. It will put hair on their chests. <laughs> I don't even know where to go with that, man. Whoa. Why does it bug me? It shouldn't bug me. It bugs me. Why what? The ex-girlfriend, Clarissa. You're right, it shouldn't bug you if that's the same Clarissa you mentioned. Whoa. Yep. Same one. That would certainly bug me. There's very few women who can slow motion like her. Ollie? Is that Ollie? Hi, Clarissa. Um, it's great to see you again. <laughs> great to see you, too. Could you get that down for me, please? Yeah, sure. 
put it right in my basket. Uh, uh, um, Clarissa, have you met Emma and her sister Mandy? Well, not until now. You guys know each other? Oh, yes, they were apparently a big item for many, many years. They're the blue whales! You're still thinking of both candy? Blue whales and root beer! Oh, my ah! Great <sighs> mercurial mushy peas, native totem candy. I've got to see this. We do go way back, don't we, Ollie? Happy Native Valentine's Day, buddy. Oh, shouldn't have. <laughs> right, Jess. Here we are at the Friendship Center sports field. And let me tell you something, the natives are restless. Today, they hit the field to burn their names into history. Who do we have out there today, Xavier? Well, Jack, we have in goal today none other than the illustrious Emma and Mandy Sawyer. Maddie, field's over here. Who's got the ball? Oh. 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 Okay, everyone, short break. My gut's fine. I'm totally fine. I've always been able to calm those kids down. Oh. Yeah, I can tell. It's like watching Ewoks outrun a turtle. Oh, oh yeah. Or like having the first VIP Buffy tickets in space. Um... Or like a cat and having every laser pointer in the whole entire world. Mandy, uh -huh. I need to ask you about Ollie. It's like 10,000 spoons when all you need is a knife. It's just after seeing Clarissa and she's so pretty and they have a history together. I mean, is he just gonna end up going back to her anyways? I'd be all red bone on him, like, come and get your love. Maddie, seriously, Ollie and I still haven't gone out on a date yet. He likes you, sister. In fact, he's right over there. What? Where? And James is with him, too. James is with him, too. I'm feeling awkward and I don't know what to do. Maybe stop dancing. OK, OK. <sighs> If you have just joined us, we are in the halftime show. What's in store, Xavier? Well, Jack, it's awkward now, but it gets worse in three, two. Yo, yo. I can do that. Sensual, but somewhat impractical. What does she do in case of fire? What if the music becomes Barry Manilow? Yo, yo. Yo. More important question, why is she here? Um... Ollie? Well, she might have heard about the potluck tonight from somebody. Oh yes, I invited her. Oh, well, good luck with that, James. I believe I shall, Mandy. Have excellent luck. That is good, I believe. Oh my god. This place is so cool. The totem pole out front is just rad. Thank you. I mean, it's not mine, but... The totems are a story, you know, told by the mystical blade of the great carvers. I could be a carver. No, you couldn't. Well, speaking of making things, I brought your favorite cake. Could you get the cake out of the car for me, please? Yeah, sure. Do you know where the kitchen is? The cake needs to go in the fridge. Oh, yes. It's right in there, past those amazing... Maybe you could just show me. Oh, right ho. Oh. Did we just watch a male obedience class? <sighs> How many cedar cauliflowers is that? Shut up! 
see, that's what you need to do, is you need to get angry. Draw a big old line in the sand and get that crazy ass. Give him that what? You realize she's with James, too. Oh, whatever. James isn't gonna fall for some, well... Gorgeous, tall, blonde, white girl that commands them around like a mind-controlling hypno-goddess? She's so statuesque, she makes the rest of us look like little confused garden gnomes. Hey! Don't hate on the gnomies. I told you, you should totally get some We're this. not getting garden gnomes for the center. Oh, great. The Snow Queen's returned with her toys. How are you girls doing? This all looks so inviting. As inviting as a sprinkled donut covered in bees. Sorry? Huh? Oh, it's been great. Where'd you guys get off to? Oh, big tour of the Friendship Center. This place is so modern. You guys have Wi-Fi and everything. Yeah, we have running water and electricity too. Um, would anyone like some coffee? Uh, we were talking. Sorry. <laughs> Been so much fun catching up. Still the same old Ollie. Awkward. Well, kind of shy. And a little neurotic, but in a good way. We went out for like, Three years, so I know. And you've been here the whole time, too. Well, thank you. Half-calf, triple shot, sugar-free vanilla, no foam, flat white at exactly 135 degrees. Yeah, I can't imagine what it must be like to get over me. Well, that's great. I'm gonna take off for a bit. Excuse me. Ah, sticky toffee delight! Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. My toes. <laughs> hey, sis. You okay? Ollie's an idiot. Actually, he's being a fart. A fart! <laughs> yeah, but I mean, look at her. She's perfect, and really perfect, and she walks in slow motion. You can be a slow motion girl. Anyone can be a slow motion girl. Maddie, she's gorgeous. And what am I? You're one of us. You're a warrior. A warrior. I know. Wow, look at you go deep. You know how Clarissa brought cake? She brought it for Ollie. Angel food. White cake. Here? Oh, it's on. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> The food does look fantastic. And look, real fry bread. Authentic. Not just posh, but very spiritual as well. Perhaps I should go look for them. I hope I haven't ruffled the delicate feminine sensibilities. James, sit. Ollie, have some cake. I made it special for you. Oh, I feel weird starting without Emma and Mandy. Now that's how you slow motion. Behold, the Sisters of Thunder! Stick with the protein. You're gonna need the energy. Well, the game is really heating up. That's right, like a raging cedar smoke inferno.
you let me win. Yeah, you want him more. I don't want him that badly. Uh, thank you. So, what's it like to date Ollie? Well. Oh yeah, my big sister. For the win. Woo! And I remember back on the rock when I was a wee little lad with my spinner and I, we'd go down to the outpart, we'd do some fish in there, you'd drop a sinker and you'd get a fish. And it was so great because, you know, you have one, you just as you're pulling that cut up and have a big one comes and eats it, and it, 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 it's fantastic. You throw it on the grill and you have whatnot, you've got all the fish. But anyway, eh, I just want to say, Lord Tandra, and you've all been a great audience there, boys. Well, when you come down to the rock, kiss the cod, and I'll screech you all in myself. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> A Newfie native? I am so going there. That was Silas McFillahead, all the way from Stone Cove, Newfoundland. <laughs> so, who's, oh. so, who's up next? We have Luke George from Silverback Reservation. Wait, did he say Silverback? I think so. That's our res. Cool. <laughs> People doing a day. I'm here today to raise my people up with a message to our youth. It's time to be warriors. Stay off drugs, stay in school, and empower your culture. Yeah. It's time to change the attitude towards. Hi, Emma. I am the First Nations man of your dreams. We would have the most beautiful brown babies. Wow. Your parents would love me. Have you ever tried organic fry bread? Double wow. I used to raise baby wolves on the res. Stay with me and your life will be a hammock in the sunrise. Emma? Sorry, I'm busy. everything going? Really great, Emma. I am absolutely stoked to be working with so many young Native people in such a positive environment. I imagine it must be the same for you. Could you pass me that stapler? Um, that's a stamper? Oh no, um, this. Um... Okay, this. It measures in everything. Yeah. Let's go with that. <laughs> How do you know he's not our cousin? I've met all our cousins. All of them? That's not even possible. Everything okay? Mm -hmm. Everything's great. <laughs> Never could be better, cuz. Mm -hmm. You met my sister, Mandy? Great to meet you, Mandy. I want to say, from the bottom of my heart, it is really awesome to see two sisters who are absolutely determined to make things just that much better for their communities. Thank you, Luke. It's amazing to meet you too. You're just so awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I, I read the email that you sent me. You mentioned an event later on tonight. Yeah, I got the idea from the Youth Warrior programs we have back at the res. I think that's something you would be perfect for. Really? Well, the event we are doing tonight is pretty intense, but you guys are totally welcome to join in and bring your friends. That's so cool. I definitely like to go with you tonight. That's great. Well, I have to get ready. It's really sudden. But I'm really, really interested. Sorry, um, what are you guys planning? What we're doing tonight is called a Youth Warrior Lock-In. 
Everyone's gonna stay inside the center until next morning. I've done it before <laughs> to engage young people in their communities. Emma and Mandy are in. What do you guys think? So Ollie and Emma still haven't gone on a date? It's been four days already. Yep. Now Luke's in the story to add conflict to the narrative arc. I guess we'll have to keep watching. Good teaser. Thanks. Is this only happening back on the res? It is. But hopefully, if it does really well, like I'm expecting it will, we can get it into more urban centers like here. She brought coffee. And sugar. Hey guys, hungry? Got lots of blue whales left. Blue whales? Yeah. No, that's sugar. I can't. You can't or you won't? Uh, sugar is poison. Be free, Luke. Be free. Hey, Emma. Lucas. <laughs> I was wondering if you guys had seen uh, James around. He, he, he told me he was going on a, a walkabout, which I know is the wrong continent, but uh, I mean, you know James. Uh, I haven't seen him. Okay. Well, uh, I'll just go and hunt him down, eh? Boom. <laughs> Good luck. Emma, Luke, <laughs> what are you guys planning? Uh, not that much. We're we're just going over some new programs back on the res. Yeah, there are some great opportunities coming up for someone like Emma. Oh, great! <laughs> I was just um, wondering what uh, what time uh, will be done today. You know, with with the program, like uh, the the lock in. Oh, it's actually pretty soon. Whoa, what happened to Mandy? Sugar crash. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna go, you know, hang out for the last little bit. Okay. See you in a bit. So, Emma, uh, what do you think of the program that Luke was showing you there? Well, it's interesting. I just, I don't know about heading home while I'm still in school. I mean, I just started university this fall, so, you know. Yeah, my dear, that's one of them life choices. Yeah, it's got founded by your Twigger called Ari. <laughs> but what a call it could be. Speaking of, did you ever think about getting wheatgrass in here? Sorry, wheat, what? Green drinks are one of the best things for improving alkalinity and digestion. I would recommend using tofu. Um... I should get you onto some of the TED Talks I've been listening to. Emma, starting a day, we'll get up every morning at 3 a.m. I know it cuts into our social lives, but heck, who needs those? We'll start the day with my new turmeric power cleanse smoothie. We'll certainly be drinking a lot of those. After our morning ocean swim in riptides, we will do a half marathon in freezing rain. So invigorating. And then later, you get to warm up with some unsweetened organic muesli. Hey, Emma. Hi, Ollie. <laughs> The lock-in just ended. I'm gonna go get changed. We should go on a date. Okay, cool. Whoa, wait, what? Wait, Emma, 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 we're going on a date? So, you're dating my daughter? So is this it? Ollie and Emma finally on a date? Everything gonna get all romantic? Nah, it's just breakfast with the parents. That's like having fruit and yogurt when what you really want is bacon. Bacon? Hmm, I don't think they combine pancakes and waffles here, Mandy. What kind of place is this? I just asked for the Mighty Mandy Cakes. They know straight away. I have taught you well. For the winner. For the win, Dad. Shh. Boom. Boom. Could be wrong, but are there two of them now? So 
why were you guys in full regalia? Were you trying to scare Ollie or something? <laughs> no, we have pal rehearsal tonight. We'll drop you guys off first. Must be exhausted after your lock-in. That's right, we're in a hurry. What are you all ordering? Uh, I was just gonna go with Greek yogurt and some field berries. Sensible. Ollie, what do you usually eat in the morning? Cereal? Cereal? Gotta be a man, boy. Should have at least six kinds of meat first thing every morning. Right, uh, six. Yep, you can hunt them all down where you live. Caught a rabbit in my teeth and a moose in my hockey net. Mandy has photos. Yeah, things are better out in the country. Emma, have you thought about that new job with Luke? I mean, you could move back home, be a teacher's aide. Oh, you could live in one of those really nice new homes near the longhouse. You could see us every single morning and live in the house that your father built. Yeah, the problem is if I leave school now, I'll never become a teacher. I mean, while I'm here, I can seriously network and work towards becoming more than just a teacher's aide. I can build relationships. Relationships? You guys aren't thinking of getting married. Oh my God, Emma, you're not pregnant, are you? What? Okay, guys, I've been watching her aura, and trust me, if anything happens to her, I'll be the first to know. They haven't even gone out yet. Haven't even gone out yet? Why not? What's wrong with my daughter? Ollie. <sighs> Ollie. Ollie! <laughs> Sorry, James. <clears throat> I was just thinking. Well, you know what they say, a problem shared makes two little problems, which you divide those up and make a I'm sorry, I got lost there. No, it's okay. I'm just, I'm worried about Emma. I'm worried she's gonna go home and, and, and Luke and, I mean, her parents really like the idea of the job that's waiting for her. And I'm just the date that hasn't happened yet. Well, you still want to ask her out, right? Well, yeah, I don't want someone else to ask exactly. her out. Oh, what if you lived on the reservation? Think of all the culture you discover. Take photos. Uh, take lots of photos and set up an Instagram account. Call it, good golly, what a cracking reservation James, this is. It's a working title. I would be staying here. I have a student loan, James. It would be a long distance relationship. Blimey. Well, there are ways of keeping a woman around. Lying, marriage, trained wolverines. I'm just could gonna stop you there. Or you could just ask her out. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? <sighs> What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst? Hi, Ollie. Luke and I have been talking. We decided we're gonna get married. Yeah, sorry, man. We're gonna be heading back to the res have the ceremony, and then we're gonna raise us like 10 kids. I know, I mean like there goes my whole career, but I'm gonna be so busy pumping out babies. Yeah, totally. I mean, we're both gonna be so swamped changing diapers. What are you gonna be doing? I don't know, stuff maybe. That's great. And we're gonna be rock climbing with our army of kids over mountaintops and singing. We might even have our own reality show. And think of that. You can watch us from your mom's basement and Luke can braid my hair in the sunshine. And don't forget the kids. That's right. We'll be the, the Native, Native Brady, Brady Bunch. Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Res isn't that far away. I mean, yeah, it's a day's drive, but Ollie would totally do that for you. He shouldn't have to. Plus, I want to have the best future that I can have and, and be the best teacher possible for all the kids back on the res. Wow, that is the biggest dream catcher I've ever seen. You could catch elephant dreams with that. Blue whale dreams. <laughs> there you go. Elders, can I ask you something? Of course, we're elders. Go for it. It's the opportunity that Luke told me about. Oh yeah, the res thing. No one can decide that for you. You have to follow your heart. Paint with the colors of the wind. Oh, sorry, I saw that. Can't stop quoting. Yeah, Disney is fun. Multiple inaccuracies, but catchy tunes. See you guys later. Bye. 
and these spirits is your top fry bread tech at your service. Ollie! Hi, Ollie. Sorry, what was the name of the restaurant? La Petite Prétence? Wow, um, sure. That was actually not bad. I made a date. I doff my hat, you old man. Now, how long have you got? Ooh, not that long, actually. Like, I should get ready right now. I, I need to get ready. I don't know how to do this. Let me help you. This is a great, great place. Thanks. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, merci. <laughs> you, you look really pretty. Thank you. You look really handsome. Good evening, madame. Monsieur, welcome to Les Petites Britons. I am your writer for this evening, André Jean-Luc Le Papa. Perhaps, monsieur, you would care to look over our wine list. And madame, perhaps you would consider one of our exclusive tepanards. We have them brought in especially from a little place I visited this past summer near the ruins of Pompeii. It is called the ruins of Pompeii. Formerly, Pompeii. Okay? Uh. Um, actually, can I just get some water, please? Water? Yes, yes, water for the land. <laughs> And for the gentleman, um, make that two waters. <laughs> two water. <laughs> I'll leave you with the menu. Goodbye. Believe the same as yourself. This is going to be perfect. Not only do they have no idea that we're here, but they're going to have a fabulous evening. They're right where? Don't look. Okay. So what are we supposed to do? Have them spying on us the whole date? We need uh, a diversion. <laughs> if we can just sneak out, I mean... No. It's Mandy. I grew up with her. And we're the big shiny thing that she's looking at right now. <sighs> Gentlemen, your usual? The burgundy pink cut shot on the pop of bouncing Betty 45? Thanks, Andre. That goes with everything.
Good evening. Oh, I'll pour it in the Queen's lap. Would you like to learn more about our potted plant selection? Or perhaps you would peruse our wine list. I could recommend the Chateau de Maud in 1962. It is a most subtly flirtatious little wine in a modest Himalayan kind of way. I've always found it to be dismissive, and yet somehow at its core, saucy and tender, with uh, an unobtrusiveness that is somehow still trusive, with just an int of pencil shavings and butter. Can I just see a food menu, maybe some water? <laughs> yes, water would be perfect. May we? Water is the drink of choice this evening. Perhaps I could recommend one of our specials. We have a Yorkshire pudding with rutabaga that is, if I do say so myself, uh, vivacious, uh, which I just did. Well, um... Uh, oh. They're gone! Stray what is gone? Uh, my, my... Uh, my, my, my head. If I don't get me one of these specials, and I do love me a good special. Sacre bleu. Give us a moment. So we're wrapping up the tail? They're going on a date? Personally, I'm just here for the food. White chocolate mocha? You remembered. <laughs> That was a good story. Well, that was the first part of it. How do you want to end it? Well, I'm not good at endings. I know how. <sighs> so then, this is OK? <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as James doesn't show up and ask me to fly or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Besides, I save my flying for special occasions. <laughs>